Hello and welcome, my name is 3D Modeler on YouTube and in this tutorial I want to show you a little bit about the biped and how to rig it and what you can do with the biped after you have uh, rigged your character so um, right now you're looking at a model that I did over the weekend and um, this model is a part of a low po poly competition we had at our school so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to rig it, and after that's done, um, I'll show you a little bit about the biped and how to animate the character. <coughs> so the first thing I want to do is to maximize my view and zoom out from the camera, and then I'm going to hide these parts. Uh, hide selection. And there are some still some issues with um, my version of Camtasia, but I'm working on getting that fixed. So <coughs> the first thing you'll notice when you you have created a biped is that nothing happens really. And uh, what you have to do is add a skin modifier to your bones, or uh, sorry, a skin modifier to the model that you created. And I'm going to rename. rename my model so I can figure out w what the model is and where it is so what you're going to do, you're going to add a skin modifier and the skin modifier is in the um, modifier stack when that's done you'll get this window here um, and what you'll have to do, you'll have to add the bones so when you press add there's a list and all the bones that is in the scene should be here if there are no bones, you'll have to press this button here to display the bones. Um, and when that's done, you just select everything except the boxes on the end of the fingers and the box and the one that's called biped. Uh, dot, uh, just biped one. Um, when that's done, you press select. When you have selected everything, it should appear in this one here. So. What you want to do now is to add the biped um, uh, different weightings on the character itself. So, how when you're going to do that, you'll have to press the edit envelopes, and I'll just add the structure to it so that we can see what I'm doing. Um, so, when you look at this, you'll see that I have selected the hip or pelvis and the pelvis will have um, this uh, shape around it so the inside of this one will affect the vertices that, uh, that is inside this uh, uh, tube a hundred percent and on the edge here it will fade out so they, it will have different values on depending on where it is placed so for instance if I move this up you can see that the weighting is changing and I can obviously move it to the sides as well and back and forth um, but if you have added the structure and the bones to the the character um, properly they should all line up so we go down to the to the leg and as you can see there are different colors here each color represents a different weighting so red is 100% blue is the least amount of um, influence that the uh, thigh bone will have on the foot so you'll see that nothing else except from this point and the red ones here have a 100% uh, effect when I move the bone back and forth so, <coughs> when you have aligned everything and, and this um, envelope as you want it to, you'll need to go into the edit vertice mode. What edit vertice mode allows you to is to weight the different vertices individually. So, when I go down to this vertice here, and I can see it has zero weighting, and there you go, it's gone. So, by 
choosing this option you'll be able to create different weightings for different vertices so that you can get different joints to look better when they are bending. For instance, and I have to go out from this one here, and I'll just view the bones. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bend the knee up, or the calf up, and I'm going to rotate the shin bone down. So, and back into envelopes. So as you can see here that where the bend is occurring, there is some issues where the bend doesn't look right. You can see here it thins down a lot towards the point. So there are two ways of doing this. The first one is by using a keyframing or use keyframes to show you what is happening. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a keyframe. first one and the second one and the last bone here and down so as you can see when I go back you see the knee bending so this can actually help us when we choose the weighting of the model itself so back into the edit envelope mode and turn it up so as you can see the bend here occurs a very um, there's a very sharp turn here and, and the knee actually collapses in on itself. So what you can do, you can select the vertices and you can decrease the amount the weights will have an effect on the on the potential body part. Uh, so when I do this you can see that the knee is going forward and when I choose the other bone here and choose the same vertices you see it they go up so what I've chosen here at the beginning was actually the most optimal uh, position and <coughs> if you don't like this you can actually choose an other modifier to put on top of this it's called morph modifier and it utilizes the bones and the degrees the bones are bent and creates a new transformation on top of that depending on the angle so for instance this part here you'll be able to move that further out so that it will look more like a uh, so that you don't get the um, collapsing of, of the knee but um, I haven't experimented with that so I'm sorry to say that I can't figure that out at the moment but if you follow these steps, you should be able to rig your character. Uh, if there are some issues or questions, please um, post it. And in the next tutorial, I want to show you how to um, animate the, the skeleton or the biped inside your model. Um, so this is all for now. I'm 3D Model on YouTube. Thanks for watching.